here today on a Saturday meeting some buddies of mine. Today we're on a mission to complete a project that I've been working on for about two years. Um, this is a mission that's 181 years in the making. Okay. But they wouldn't put our name on it? No. Okay. Here today with my buddies, this is Doug, Daryl, Chuck, John Paul. We're headed out to a cemetery today where we're going to take care of a little business. Like I said, it's a 181 years in the making, guys. It's a cold day to do it. Well, it's the, the birthplace of our country. These guys right here have made it happen, man. Did, yeah. he, did he really cross the Delaware River? Yeah, yeah we're going to talk about that. We got a stone to set today for a Revolutionary War uh, soldier, and we'll go into that in more detail here in just a little bit. We are on private property today, going to the cemetery called the Mershon Cemetery. And uh, Daryl and I have worked on getting this stone for William Titus Mershon for a long time. I'll give you a little bit of information about Titus. Hold on just a second. Can I get this out of here? What I'm going to tell you about Titus, um, coming up on April the 11th will be the 181 years since his death. He was born uh, August 22nd, 1756, and he died at the age 84. He was a uh, New Jersey Regiment of the Continental Line. Daryl, you want to share what you know about Titus's military? Putting you on the spot here. Well, he did cross the Delaware with Washington. Uh, he was in several battles. But one thing, what a lot of people don't realize, people that crossed the Delaware also wintered at Valley Forge. And while he was wintering at Valley Forge, learning these new tactics from this general by the name of uh, von Steuben, who wrote Army Manual Number 1, and whose uh, direction in Army Manual Number 1 is still followed today, he was there, he began the traditions of the United States Army today. That's pretty killer. So Mershon was there on the cutting edge. He was there at the beginning. Um, you and I sort of went through the hoops on this project for the last year and a half or so. We uh, also, uh, in, we also got, uh, we part of the process of going through the, uh, Help me with the department. The Veterans Administration. Veterans Administration um, to get the stone. We had to find next of kin, which we did. And uh, we found fifth great grandsons who signed the application to get this process going. And they'll be here in a few minutes. But that's a little bit of his. Anything else you want to add about Titus without going into? Well, you know, in one way, Titus is lucky because we got him a stone. A thousand other men did the same thing Titus did in New Jersey. Real good point. And unfortunately, some of them are, are lying in unmarked graves. Yeah, good point. Now, Titus was born in New Jersey, and he ended up in Kentucky. Yeah. We know that for a fact. He was in Frankfurt at one time, and he ended up marrying a girl from Crab Orchard. Her name was Nancy Whedon, and uh, she's buried here in this location, too. We've got a project we're doing for Nancy as well. But we're going to sit here and wait a few minutes on the grandsons. And Chucky bought us a nice dolly right here because we're going to need it to get down this hill. I thought it was going to be bigger than this. Well, it could heavy been. enough though, ain't it? Oh gosh, it, it could have been. been. We could have got an upright. We decided to go with but the that's gonna make, oh yeah, flat heavy. ground that's mount. That's going to make it nice to get it down there though. Yeah, it will. Yeah. Hmm. That upright probably would have come at least mm -hmm. up to that top. Oh yeah, it would have. Because more goes in the ground than shows. But well, we'll, uh, uh, we may get another stone, right, for his wife, you think? We're going to get a, a, not a military stone. She doesn't qualify for a military stone. Now, they've changed that, Daryl. You want to go into some little bit about that? on how? If you are buried in a Veterans Administration Cemetery, or if you are buried in a name. national cemetery and yes, you are a spouse, name. then you can get a military stone. Yeah. If you are not buried in a government-owned cemetery and you're buried in a private cemetery, you do not qualify for a military stone. Yeah. However, 
There was a bill introduced in Congress to change that, but it was it was tabled in committee. So it's right. just stuck in committee. And I doubt it'll get, ever get out. Yeah. So when did the great grandson say they were gonna get here? Be here in a minute. All right, we got Ken folks here. This is uh, Tim Buckles, Scott Buckles, and Cash Buckles. Uh, these are uh, direct descendants of William Titus Mershon through the Buckles line, right? Through the Cochram side. Okay. Cochrams. The Cochrans. Now, you've got, how many did we say? you got 64 fifth great-grandfathers. This is one of them. 64. You got 128 fifth great grandfathers. Fifth great grandfathers. You've got 128 sixth great grandfathers, and this is one of them. Well, you know about this old boy? Anything at all, Tim? Other than the fact that, from what I've gathered, he did leave Laurel County. There was a community in northern Laurel County named after him, and he left that area at some point. Went to Rock Castle County. Yeah, somewhere. Now, a lot of people are familiar with what's called Mershon Crossing, Mershon. which is down off of 490 today, turns left out on Wine Blade. Is that, that? That's correct. I've been there. I've been all throughout the community. I've asked the people that live there, and no person there can tell me anything about it. Yeah. They try to claim that it's called Cornelius yeah. and not Mershon. Yeah. Well, it's called Mershon. It even shows on some of the old maps. Cornelius try to claim the name yeah. <laughs> themselves. Well, a couple things we can tell you guys about your sixth great-grandpa. He crossed the, the Delaware with General Washington, so he was there with General Washington. Um, he fought in the, some important battles. He fought in the Battle of Princeton, Monmouth, and Calpins. So you can do a little research on that cash. So uh, Titus w was somebody. And today, uh, almost 181 years after his death, we're we're gonna we're gonna do him some honor today, guys. What do you, th what do you think about it, Scotty? I think that's great news. I think it's awesome news. Not just great, but that's awesome. It's awesome the work that's gone into doing this. Well, we appreciate. It. We're honored to do it, and uh, you can tell. I mean, the the daughters of the American Revolution want to come out here and do a ceremony, but we wanted to go ahead and get this stone set, and that's the reason we came on out. So it'll be set whenever they schedule whatever they're going to schedule. So let's go set a stone. Let's go set one. Okay. There's graves all over here. You'll see them. There's several. No, a really good movie about the um, the drag strip oh, there. John, I'll help you with that, but if you want some help, just stop and do a little, get a few shots coming down the hill here. This is the Mershon Cemetery. There's graves all around this, this place. There's very few that are marked. There's sunken spots here here, over there, here, and then there's some old stones. It's Robert Forbes. So there's a number of, number of stones around here in sunken spots, indentations. Well, like this my is the, uh, look where he's buried at, though. I, I know. This is the grave of Titus Mershon and his wife, Nancy, for many, many years. They were here. Now, if you look close, this stone has some carving on it. That's hence why it basically says TM. So it's been validated by the Daughters of the American Revolution, other historians over the years. This is the actual burial site. What we've done here is we've put about a 12 inch layer of dense grade and then number eight's on top of that. I believe in using gravel instead of concrete for a base because it's an easier fix if it does settle. Concrete generally sinks just like stones unless you get down below the frost line. So, 
We're making some headway. Are you able to lift this? Well, we, all you all have to do is just put it right here. Put, put it right there. Like put it right here. there. And we'll just slide it down in there. You'll film it. All right. Get in there, Cash. Yeah, I'm not allergic. <laughs> It's pretty awesome. Good job, boys. <laughs> we may kick it around a little bit toward the front. Get All that. Right. Uh, now, being a it's dressing up real nice, guys. Hundred and eighty one years ago. Come April eleven. The birth of our nation here, guys. Got a spot for that. Yes indeed. Yeah. Fought those English soldiers, man. Which Fought was the not a with no training, it'd be English. like us taking you know. Now he received training from General von Steuben. Steuben! Von Steuben! <laughs> and like I said, there's several good movies on the internet. One's called The Rebel, and the other one is called uh, uh, The Crossing. The Crossing actually goes into the battle that he fought in. But, uh, so what was his rank? Do we know his rank? Yes and no. His rank... Go in that hole over, Doug. That... that what, Doug, what was it the VA told us about his rank? I can't remember. The militiaman. Militiaman? Okay, so he wasn't an officer or anything. No. no. He wasn't an officer, not by a long shot. He wasn't. He got shot. No. All right, there. Since I served in the Army for 37 years, I'm going to pay tribute to a brother. Good job, man. Good job. And then that between when I'm done. Boys, I appreciate everybody's help. I appreciate everybody showing up. I, to me, this is a thing of honor, you know? Oh, definitely. Long time in the making. Now, we've got the, the original, well, from the 2008. Daughters of American Revolution placards that we're going to place back once we get a piece of granite. So we've got one for Nancy's grave and another one for Titus's grave. So. That'll settle in nice. You come back here, you know, August, and I'd say the maybe get some grass to grow around. Some brown cover. Some green brown cover. Well, that's going to wrap us up right here from the Mershon Cemetery. Guys, I appreciate everybody's help. Appreciate your help, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, man. Thanks, Doug, for all you're doing, brother. Appreciate, Appreciate it. what you guys have done here to help. Yeah, Doug, that's the culmination of your hard work right there. Well, I mean, it, it, it's a team game, man. It takes team to pull this off. The team. And the sixth great grandson right here is going to have to keep this history tradition alive. Yeah, you're the last of the line. I'll do my best. <laughs> Just always remember where it's at, man. Come by and pay your respects every once in a while. That's an else. When you're going through a hardship, a basic training, I want you to remember something. There's nothing near yeah. what he went through. Seriously. Mm. Yeah. I mean, they were dealing with frostbite, yeah. starvation, fire cake. Well, <laughs> Christmas Eve, when we think about Christmas Eve, what do we think about? Where are we at? Yep. Not good one, cozy place. Yeah, look what they were doing on Christmas Eve. Okay, great, great grandpa said don't pull nothing but a 